It's like that crinkle plastic I had when I was a kid. Not bubble wrap. Yes. Bubble wrap, there you go. Oh. This is beautiful, I like it. I know we're rushing, but this is a very important decision. Okay. I absolutely love it's Okay. It's called the Electra, and okay. it is everything that I want So in this dress. is what you're thinking. Go around it or sugarcoat things. If it looks horrendous or looks bad, I'll get a flat out. No, you look. Yeah, it looks so good in it. Ooh, Randy. I really like it. Stop. Mama, what was his ass? <laughs> Only thing I want for Trina is not to be. Number seven, demanding little girl. This bride is not the bridezilla in her wedding. Instead, it's her little daughter that is causing all the ruckus today. Sherry Ann is looking for a sexy, fitted mermaid dress to get married in, but her daughter has other ideas. The first dress the little girl picks out is actually a wonderful pick. Sherry Ann looks beautiful in it, and she agrees that this dress is a runner-up, even though she will look at some other dresses too. The next dress is picked by Monty. After all, that's what he's known for, and it's truly another stunning pick. The bride falls in love with this one too. She looks beautiful, sexy, and classic all at the same time. Classy at the same time. I have a mermaid, and I have a princess, and sex. Yeah. You don't like it? I had studs on it. Mr. Monty picked that one out. It was not a cute dress. I, I hmm. Should we do this one? Well, OK, I guess. Everyone is head over heels for this dress, but the bride's daughter is not on board at all. She went as far as to say she hates it. The next dress is picked out by Lori, and it's another hit this time also being favored by the little girl, which was quite an important factor for mom. This is Sherry Ann's dress. Number 6. Conscious Bride Nikki is going to get married soon, and she's a bit conscious about her figure, worried she won't look good in her wedding dress. Nikki starts off by picking a couple of dresses to try on. Really? Yeah, you're the first. Oh. So, do you have a set style in mind? Not really. Um, this, I like it. Seeing all of these dresses in all of these different sizes, it was really amazing. Nikkei. Good. I like this one. Right. The bling. Yes. I like it. I like the other one. The first dress she tries is quite pretty, but her sister and mother straight up say no and start laughing at her, even calling her an emoji. This hurts the bride's feelings, but she decides to go on and try more. It sounds big. What did you just say? It sounds big. It sounds big. <laughs> Puppy. I don't know. Oh, well, no, that's a no then, isn't it? Look at Charlotte. You look like the emoji of the dancing woman. <laughs> I like it. Oh, Nicola looks like well. The second dress is more fitted, but again, the entourage thinks for about five seconds and says a big no. Same goes with the third dress. They say she looks like Elsa in a bad way. They strike gold on the fourth try when the staff picks out a dress. The bride is happy and so is her family. This was a success. Number 5. Mom vs. Bride This bride has a very strong vision for what kind of dress she would like, and so does her mother. Unfortunately, they have completely opposite ideas. I'm from Georgia and I'm 28 years old. So who's with you today? And this is my mother, Deborah. my mom's friend, Sandra something tight at the top and then flared out at the bottom. I do want a little cleavage out. Okay. We've been going through this ever since I was young. My mom is very conservative to today to be a battle with Trina, the battle of the boobs. What's your budget today? Trina is looking to show off her curves and cleavage while her mom thinks it will be too revealing. During the first dress fitting, Trina's mom tries her very best to cover up Trina's girls, but Trina really isn't on board. Oh, she want all that showing. I should have known she was gonna like that top part. Look like it's gonna fall. Oh my gosh. Mom's trying to make a turtleneck out of here. Yes. Mm. Put your fab with all the breasts hanging out. So let's go try on some more dresses? Okay. That was very embarrassing. After trying on a ton of dresses and after wearing mom down, they finally come to a dress that both of them love. This bride has got her dream dress. Number 4. Triplet Trouble Bride Samantha is a triplet whose opinionated sisters want to make the final dress decision. Samantha's husband is in the army, so they have had a difficult relationship so far. But she is madly in love with him and wants her wedding to be perfect. Very center of attention. And me, I'm kind of a mix. And I'm the mom. Oh, it's so nice to meet <laughs> you. I'm the maid of honor. We are probably not going to agree on almost anything. Top budget. <clears throat> She's paying for it. 
about 4,000. Okay, but easy. And we tell each other that these types of relationships are not for the weak. The first dress she tries on looks beautiful on her, but her sisters straight up say no without even really asking her opinion. The second dress is a sweet satin and is the kind of style the bride wanted. The rest of the entourage agrees it's great, but one of her sister again disapproves strongly, making Samantha sad. Wow, I really, really like this one. You're looking kind of babam in this, I gotta I say. <laughs> Waterworks have started. The satin dress is absolutely stunning on her. It really is my style. It's very classy. It's beautiful. You like this the best? I like it. But she decides to look at more dresses, and the third dress is another hit for her, but this time the bride's mom is not impressed. Samantha decides to try on the second dress again, but her sister becomes upset over this and decides to show the third dress by wearing it herself and modeling it for Samantha so they could see it side by side. In the end, when Samantha realizes she won't be able to please everyone, she has to take the decision on her own and decides that the second dress is the winner. Number 3. Halter Top or Nothing Randy emphasizes one thing for every bride. Keep your ideal dresses in mind, but be open to new ideas just in case things don't work out exactly like you expect them to. If your dream dress is not available somehow, then you're going to be sorely disappointed, even if the dress you end up with is beautiful, and that's just what's about to happen to this picky bride. My name is Ashley Bulge. I'm looking for a halter neckline because halter tops make you look taller. You. And then I have my friend Amali, Danny, and Giovanna. Nice to meet you, ladies. So tell me a little bit about. See, you're giving me this some inspiration here. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to be in terms of price point? I have a ceiling. Hang for it. Perfect. Here we go. All Ready? Right. Yes. Come with me. Okay. All right. Good luck, Ashley. Bye bye. We'll be Bride Ashley has a picture of the exact dress she wants, and it is a halter top. Unfortunately, the boutique does not have many halter tops in stock, and the few ones they have are pretty expensive, possibly out of budget for this young bride. The first halter top style wedding dress she tries is just a little too revealing for her, and the bride decides it's not the way to go. Oh my god. Do -do 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 -do. Step on up Ooh. there. I like the halter neck as well. The dress is definitely sexy. That's very important. <laughs> it's priceless. Did you see her face? I know she wants something sexy. No. Too much. If I were there your we father, I would have a fit if you came down the aisle like really? this. Really? Oh. Here, though. Okay. This dress most closely resembles what I have in mind. The next dress is much more similar to what Ashley had in mind. It's a beautiful mermaid cut and halter top style dress. Ashley's entourage is also supportive of the dress, calling it beautiful and elegant. Unfortunately, Ashley is not feeling it completely and decides to move on. The last dress she tries on is nothing like what she had in mind, and it just doesn't speak to her. This bride will not go home with a dress today. Number 2. Natural Bride This is probably the weirdest bride out there. She lives off the grid, she wants to grow all her own food for her wedding, and is debating whether to go nude on the big day. Luckily, Tracy and Gordon are a match made in heaven and have all the same values, but the bride's mom is not really on board and neither is Randy. Mother Patty. This is Chelsea. She's going to be your consultant today. How do you envision yourself on your wedding day? The date's clothing optional. Not on my watch. Mom, how do we feel about see Tracy wearing? Something kind of Cinderella-ish with a little cap sleeve for the hairy armpits. I feel like I want to get out of my norm. I want to be, want them to also see that side of me, which I know is in there somewhere. How much are you looking to spend? But Tracy does want to look like a beautiful bride. She's not really feeling the ball gown dresses and decides to try the simpler ones. Randy manages to find a beautiful but very simple dress for Tracy to wear, and she is in love. In fact, her mother is reduced to tears, so they are definitely on the right path. Because it's like a real wedding dress on my daughter. <laughs> you never thought she'd be in a real wedding. Well, that at least gives me a little hope that we're headed in the right direction. So, flowers that she also brought, and hopefully this will give her that earthy look that she's going for. This dress, I just am still trying to rationalize spending so much money on a, a dress. What a beautiful sunflower band addition. Tracy is tempted but does not say yes until the boutique gives her a final look with makeup and a sweet hairdo. After seeing herself, Tracy officially says yes to the dress. 
Well, I feel like I am fresh out of a magazine. And not a nudie magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Once I looked in the mirror with my beautiful makeover and the burlap sash with the orange tool that no, you wanted. No, I really like it. Yeah, it's amazing. I feel like a bride. I feel like this would be the dress that I'd walk. <sighs> I'm saying yes to the dress. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Number one, mean family. The bride brought her mother, stepfather, and biological father to the dressing, and she's about to find out what wasn't such a good idea. Bride Alicia is looking for something that makes her look beautiful and sexy, and it's time to look through some options. But even before picking out a dress, I really, really like the fitted top, the sweetheart. Okay. You're so strapless. Too. So her mother wants to guide the show. It's simple. Alicia is worried about what everyone will think, especially her mother, who is quite demanding and wants everything done her way. They start off the dressing with her dad's pick. Alicia cares a lot about her father and his opinions, and she's sporty satisfied with this dress. Dad starts getting emotional as he sees her walk out in the dress. It's a big moment for him. On the other hand, mom is just not on board and she thinks it's not for her. Things take a turn south when she says Alicia looks like a linebacker. Who says that to a bride? Alicia actually has tears in her eyes as everyone is laughing at her. The next dress she tries on is one picked out by her mother. Alicia doesn't like it but decides to show her family anyway. Okay, maybe it was prettier on the mannequin. Sandra, please, please just Every bride should feel like a beautiful princess, not a tackling dummy. This ends now. And it's even worse this time as they call her a big mop and continue laughing at her. The last dress is picked out by Lori and it is a hit. This is the dress for her. No one's laughing at this confident bride now. That's all for today, folks. See you next time.